Hi there, everyone. Welcome to Tuesdays To Be Continued. You are with Beverly Morales, Stampin' All Day with Bev, on Facebook. Later, you'll be able to watch this replay on YouTube under Beverly Morales and Stampin' Up, and I hope you enjoy yourself here. It is two o'clock, and I'm gonna apologize up front because today the floor is being installed. Hey, Debbie and it's pretty noisy. I had no idea. Yesterday they um, did the, what do you call it, demo, and it wasn't very bad, but today they're actually installing the floor and it's pretty noisy. So I know I've had a complaint before about the noise, but hi Florence, but all I can say is I need to work, they need to work, and so I'm gonna apologize up front. On Sunday you won't hear any noise because um, they don't work on Sundays. Hi, Stephanie. And um, they'll be done on Thursday. So we shouldn't have this noise anymore. This should be the last time, I hope. Um, so anyway, thank you for being here, everybody. I have another really cute card uh, to show you made with the little monkey stamp set. So I hope you enjoy yourself while you're here. Let's turn down and see who won the card from Sunday. And um, oh, I also want to remind you that the clearance rack has been refreshed. So if you go onto my website, you can see all the wonderful, wonderful things that are on um, clearance right now. It's some great, great deals. Ribbon, embellishments, dyes, stamps, you name it, it's there. DSPs and really good prices. So it's a, a good way to save a lot of money if there's some things you've been wanting, go check it out. All right, let me turn you down and we're gonna get started. Okie dokie. So last night was a success with my two friends coming over to craft. One of them is a very talented crafter, baker, cook. Um, and so she, um, I knew she was going to enjoy herself here. The other one, she loves crafts. She doesn't do them that often. And so yes, last night was a an eye-opener for her it made her realize how much she loved doing crafts and she did very very well our sunflower our spring sunflowers came out absolutely a darling when I had mine next to theirs it looked like a garden and we were just all thrilled so that was a fun fun night I, I was so wound up and excited about the fun we had I didn't go to bed till almost midnight so today I'm pretty tired <laughs> but that's okay all right, again, welcome to Stampin' All Day with Bev. I'm Beverly Morales, I'm your host here, and I live in Tracy, California. Here is my host code if you wanna place an order with me this month and get entered into a free drawing to win a folder that I have purchased just for some special someone that's gonna get picked randomly just for ordering from me. And this is the brand new Distress Tile 3D folder that you could win. If you go to want to shop with me, you can go to my website, Beverly Stamps. Hi, Annie. Dot stampin up dot net. And I already mentioned my YouTube channel. It's just my name with Stampin' Up behind it, and you can find me there. Any questions, concerns, statements, want to talk, win a card, email me your address at mofun44 at icloud.com. I love hearing from all of you. I love when you send me pictures of the projects you've been making. It's so awesome to receive those. Hi, Marie. All right, so we have a winner for one of these cards. The winner gets to pick the color she wants, Granny Apple Green or, hi, Diane, um, Parakeet Party. And I have to apologize when I made this card. I didn't realize at the time that this ribbon is retired, but there are similar ribbons in the catalog that you could get and do the same thing with, or maybe you have this one already and it's gorgeous. Okay, so let's see who the winner of these little dancing monkeys is. Let's see. Ta-da! Bev Stokes. And Bev, I have your address, so no need to send that unless it's changed. Let me know right away if it's changed because I'm going to get your card. I'm going to get uh, Florence's prize, and I have to get 
Deborah's card in the mail too. I didn't realize I had Deborah's address and I just looked today and I do. So I'm gonna send those, all three things out at one time. So just let me know, Bev, what color you want. All right, we are working with Little Monkey. Little Monkey's on page 52 of the annual catalog and it's a bundle. It's uh, item number is 161379 and that would get you the stamp set as well as the punch that comes with uh, the bundle. Okay. I am using, I wanted to make this card um, kind of masculine colors for a little boy. So I was looking through all my DSPs and this one, Earth and Elegance, came up with these coppers and browns and beiges and wood grain like papers within it. So I grabbed that one and yes, it worked out very well. Earth and Elegance is item 161503. Now, if you're not recognizing it off the top of your head, it coordinates with the Earth and Texture stamp set. And so this is just another way to show you that you can make this DSP absolutely gorgeous. Hi, Deborah, with this stamp set, or you can turn it into what I turned it into with the little monkeys. I wanted to also show you another gift I got from Karen the day we went to lunch. Look at this, I thought it was so cute. I asked her where she got the little um, wood board at, uh, the cutting board. I thought maybe it was the Dollar Tree, but she said she thought it was from Hobby Lobby. So this is a cute little gift, especially if you're going to someone's house for lunch or you had dinner there and you wanted to just bring a little something something with you. This was so cute. and the uh, floral dyes, you know that I love those. So she used that on there and I just wanted to share that with you and give you another idea for embellishing things, 3D items. All right, we're gonna use our paper trimmer, our aqua painters, our water painters. And the water painters are on page 137 of the annual catalog and their number is 151298. Now I purposely am using these today because I had a request um, via email asking me if I had a video with my water painters and if they worked with the watercolor pencils. And so I know that I do have some videos using these, but she said, oh, please don't spend your time looking for them for me. So I thought, okay, I will just do it again so she can see right now on a fresh new video. And so, Laura, I hope you um, enjoy this. And here are the watercolor pencils, 141709. I don't know if that page number is right. It might be old, but um, that is their code number. Here is the little monkey stamp set and the coordinating punch. And three inks, the black memento, crushed curry for the bananas, and copper clay to go with that DSP I talked about. Of course, you're going to need um, your basics, your bone folder, your take your pick tool, your silicone mat, those types of things. And the cardstock, I'm going to start with the base cardstock. Hi, Andrea. And I cut this cardstock at four and a quarter by 11 and scored it right in the middle at five and a half. And then I cut it at one and three quarters by two. But I'm going to show you that in just a second. Okay, let's look at the cute card window sheets. I forgot to mention, hey Kay, I forgot to men mention window sheets. Now Karen showed me this card that she got as a trade. It's not, her, the one she showed me was a little bit different of course, but the, the same idea she got as a trade at Leadership. And I've seen this before with the window sheet and the little window showing through to the inside of the card, but I thought it was so, so cute with the monkeys that I wanted to recreate it. And she, she did probably tell me who, but I was looking at so many cards that day, who made this card. It's not somebody's name that I recognize, but anyway, it is not my original idea. Um, it, it was a trade that Karen got at Backstage. So these are the cute little monkeys that we're gonna make today. So I'm gonna show you how to make this style of a fun fold card. All right, we need our paper trimmer. And we already have our cardstock cut at four and a quarter by 11. And we're just going to fold that in half to get 
our five and a half fold right in the middle here. Bone folder to burnish. And then we're gonna open up the card, wing it back to get a beautiful seam there. And then we're gonna come over to our paper trimmer. We're gonna cut it one and three quarters. So I'm putting the, the long end, the long end, the 11 inch side of my paper onto my paper trimmer. And I'm putting the end of the cardstock at one and three quarters and the edge of the cardstock all the way up to the top of the dark gray part of my trimmer. So everything is straight. Then I'm gonna take the dark blade, which is the cutting blade, and just cut a piece off. So now this is one and three quarters, correct? So now we're gonna push it through, and we're just gonna go to the end and put it right on the two, right there. Again, making sure the 11 inch side is all the way up against the dark gray ledge here. And then we're gonna cut again. So this piece is gonna go away, and this is where you could stamp your monkeys and punch them out or fussy cut them out, whichever you prefer to do. So now we have two pieces that are even, just like this for our card. So this piece is gonna be connected down here with the window sheet. So it's pretty simple, right? Hi, Donna, welcome. Okay, here's the card again, so you can see right here how that works. Hi, Dominga. All right, let's start with the inside of the card. Just swinging by to say hi with a little banana. You're gonna need a four by five and a quarter inch standard layer piece. And the reason I'm starting here is to make your life a little easier because most of us, like to um, get things as even as we can. So in order to get my sentiment where I want it on my card, I start there so I don't have the window sheet in my way for stamping and I don't have to measure and keep looking, right? So, so no window sheet yet. We're gonna go right to the sentiment that's in the, in the stamp set, just swinging by to say hi and to the copper clay ink. And I placed the bottom piece of the card base, the card front, where it belongs. The white piece is layered how it, where it belongs, and then this piece is the top here. So now we can easily judge just swinging by to say hi. Pretty smart there, right? If you, we normally do the inside last, and if we did the inside last, we would be having to open and close and say, am I getting it in the right spot? So now you can just have it in the right spot and be done with it and not worry about it. Then I'm gonna take the banana. This is the unpeeled banana this time. And I think I will take both bananas. Just make this one a little bit different than this one. I do that now and then. You might see slight differences in the cards, and then when you win, you can choose the one you want. Okay, so since the um, inside is finished, we can just glue that down, and we're almost done. Hi, Richard. Okay, when I put glue on here. I try to stay away from the edges so I can put my, my pointer finger and my thumbs on the cardstock and not get them full of glue. And then I slightly bend the cardstock in, see that slight bend? And then I can see all the way around the card base and I know that I'm getting it down even. When I'm going to burnish a whole piece like that, I like to turn it over and burnish from the back just in case there's ink somewhere or something and we won't get it on the front of our card. All right, I try as much as possible to work with my cards always flat. So let's go to the layer pieces. We need cardstock pieces, two of them, cut at four and an eighth by one and five eighths. And this is the new in color 
pebble path. Okay, so these fit, I'll leave that right there in case you need the measurements. They fit right here, and then remember this is the bottom piece. And this one's gonna fit right there. And that's kind of hard to see on the on the base. So I'm gonna separate it so you can see better. And we're just gonna place glue on there. You're gonna see that it's layered here. And this DSP is gonna go right over this and give it a really nice look. Now these colors I thought were great for a little boy, but if you wanna send this card to a little girl, it's fine or you could change the colors to a more feminine look, different DSP, and do the same thing for a little girl. Now we need two pieces of designer series paper of your choice at four by one and a half. So there they are there, and we're gonna do the same thing. Hi, Pamela. Okay. So I remember I talked to you guys about a couple of weeks ago, I had a garage sale. Well, I just sold the last bits and pieces of that garage sale, some bigger furniture. So I'm happy that's all done with and um, cleared out the side of my house of all the extra things, getting the yard back to how it should be always feels good. Now look how attractive this designer series paper is here is this is the same piece as this piece but it it, it ombres on the sheet let me see <clears throat> here's the pack but but things are pretty cut up so this 12 by 12 piece here ombre into this look here so isn't it wonderful how you can use it with a whole different stamp set and everything still looks really really good Okay, so now, how do we attach, how do we make this cover here? So everything is attached well. We take a piece of window sheet that is layer size, just typical like the white, so I'll, I'll, actually that's not true. Nope, not true. You want it the same size as the card. So let's measure so I can give you the true size. Five and a half by four and a quarter. Okay, so that is the same size as the card base, which is the copper clay color. Okay, so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna take your pick, I take your pick tool, very standard tool here, and I'm gonna go to my mini glue dots. This is how I found it easiest to make this card. And I'm just gonna take four mini glue dots. I think on the other card, I only used two. So either way it will work. And place them here on the card stock instead of the window sheet. It's just a little bit easier for some reason. And then stand this up, just right against this, the fold to make sure everything's even and then close it down and now it's got your window sheet attached that easily. Isn't that cool? Okay, so now the same thing. Let's put some mini glue dots. Here's another way you can connect the mini glue dots. Take a mini glue dot and press your cardstock layers right there. If you don't have a take your pick tool, that will work. All four corners. Now we have glue on all four corners, so I'm looking for a place to put my fingers. And I want to, I've got to move it up so I can see well, and I want to put this right on the edge, making sure I'm even here and here, and then press. So now my front of my card is completely done. Now, you can see these dots. That kind of bothers me. So I might cut four pieces at four and an eighth by one and five eighths of cardstock. 
and place them here, right over that so you don't see the dots. That's up to you. If that bothers you, you can do that. So I just wanted to mention it. Okay, so now we're going to go to the stamp set. Well, you need watercolor paper. And I did that in advance because when I'm gonna use the water painters and water, I don't want the black ink to smear. The Momento, if you stamp it right away and go to color it right away, you take the chance of smearing that. If you emboss, it won't smear, of course, or if you let it set a while, it will not um, smear. So this is for Laura. She, she asked about watercolor pencils and um, the water painters. And so I love it when I get asked a question and I can help you out and answer them and, and show you how to use them. So I took the brown and I'm coloring the branch on watercolor paper. Again, stamped with black Memento ink. Then I took the green and I'm just coloring the leaves. And you don't have to color really good because we're going to smooth all that out with the, with the water painters. So I have a little bowl of water right here and I always, where did it go? Where did it go? I always tell you to have a tissue and I had it right here earlier. Oh boy, it's not here. Did it fall on my trash? Fall on the floor. Did I move it? I don't see it. Okay, well I'm gonna try to do this without my, without my, um, my tissue. So I barely wet the aqua paint, the water painter. They change the names and so I tend to stay with the old names for a long time. And I'm going to just, with the water, paint on top of the pencils and see how that, see the difference, see how it's spotty there and then smooth here. That smooths out that easily. It just really melts the color of the pencils right into the watercolor paper. You can also do this with regular paper, regular cardstock. I prefer to use the watercolor paper, and that's what I told Laura, so I wanted to show her um, me in action with this. So I just rinsed off my aqua painter because I'm changing color water painter and coloring the leaves. All right, there is not, the punch does not punch out this little branch. So I did one in advance, so you didn't have to watch me do that, but this does need to be fussy cut. So I'm just going to cut off the edge of the branch there, and then I am going to get close, but not right on the black line. And I'm gonna cut out, moving the paper, not the scissors, and cutting off ex at the excess paper every chance I get. Hello, Marsha, welcome. Okay, I'm gonna turn. Keep cutting. So this card does have two um, fussy cut. What this monkey here is not that's not part of the punch either. So I fussy cut him out too. It's okay, Marcia. As long as you're here, that's all we care about. Okay. So I'm gonna tell you, I will be here on Sunday at 7 p.m. Pacific time as normal, but I won't be here next Tuesday. And here's why. I'm gonna ask for prayer at the same time. Um, my husband, Ken, is having surgery on Monday morning, 
first thing very early. And he is going to be um, unavailable. He's going to be walking around on crutches for two whole months. Yeah. So surgery is Monday morning, very early, like I just said. And um, Tuesday, he will just, you know, only only be one day out of surgery. So I want him, I don't want to commit myself to a live and him need me that soon. You know, it's very early into his uh, recovery. So um, I'm just going to take Tuesday off. And I know you guys understand, but I just want to tell you that now. Okay, so now all we have to do is put these branches down. Now his little his little hand here is gonna be underneath there. So I'm gonna do the same thing I did um, on Sunday. I showed you where I put glue and then I skip the little place where I wanna put his hand so it can slip under there. And then we're just gonna put this little branch down. Now Annie, does this make you even want this set more? <laughs> Thanks for the prayers, you guys. Thank you. Yes, that's what we need. We need your prayers. We already have your understanding, so we're good with that. Okay, I know I didn't put glue there. There. So let's put a little bit here. And we're going to slip this right under there. We don't want to break his arm. And I love how it looks like he's just hanging off that branch, just hanging around. Okay. So now this branch just has to be glued down there and we're gonna glue down the whole branch this time. Thank you, Marie. And um, it's simple. So Laura, I hope you, you um, are comfortable using the water painters and the color pencils now. It's truly that simple. All right, so now I need this monkey, right? So I stamped them in advance. We all, thanks Becky. We all know how to do that. And I use the black memento and then we're gonna take the punch, turn it upside down so we can see what we're doing and place Mr. Monkey right into the, the punch. When, now I mentioned this before, but I'm gonna say it again in case you're new with me. So when I'm trying to arrange this in the punch and getting it completely even, as I, the closer I get to, to the punch to, or to the image being in the punch like I want it, the tighter I'm starting to squeeze the punch. So I start with the punch open. And then as I get it in place, I squeeze tighter. And then when it's where I want it, then I punch all the way. That way it won't slip around. So sometimes what I'm trying to say is don't leave it loose, loose the whole time and then try to punch. It might move. Just just slightly squeeze, slightly squeeze, and then when you see it's all right, then punch it. All right, let's get this in here. You could put him on a dimensional. I have him completely flat. Let's see, let's, I like to do things a little different when I'm live than I did with the um, prototype. So let's see, two of them are good. I thought it might take three, but two's doing the trick. Let's see what it looks like popped up. <coughs> All right, so the differences on this one are there's two bananas here and he's popped up. That looks really, really cute. You open it up and you see the inside of the card. From the side, I'm gonna show you so you can maybe see that glassy look, the shimmer and shine that the window sheets give you. Now the window sheets, I didn't, I didn't pull the number, did I? Let's see if I've got it right here. I do. Yay. Okay, so window sheets come in 12 by 12 like this, and they are 142314 is their code. Now the other thing I want to say about window sheets, the cardboard that comes in the window sheets, the backing is perfect for the the books that I'm making, the box in a book class, if you don't have DSP backing that's thick enough for that, you can use the backing that comes in the back of your window sheet. So it's just, or any project where you need a really, really sturdy cardboard, the, the, the cardboard that comes in the window sheet pack is perfect. Now when it stands up, it's absolutely darling. 
as well. So I just think it's a very happy card and we're always asking for little boy stuff, men stuff. And so I think just these colors and this designer series paper makes it a little more masculine. All right, that's what I have for you today. Um, I don't think I'm forgetting anything. Don't forget to go to the clearance rack. You'll be really be happy that you did. And um, I'll see you Sunday. Okay, take care. Bye-bye.